to see what happens tonight on night two as we look at the players to watch in this matchup. Guilherme Voss has been leading the team all year long and he may need to step up even more tonight. The middle blocker, eight kills last night on 13 swings. He hit 462. It felt like a quiet 462, but it was very effective. And I'm hoping Tred Rosenthal saw those stats. Going to feed him some more balls tonight for Hawaii side. And for Long Beach State, it is someone that isn't normally relied upon in these matches, but Nate Harlan came into the front row and did an amazing job. There you see that big block from Nate Harlan. He came in, he was nine kills, hitting 500 last night, which is brilliant numbers for an outside hitter. Every time he comes on the floor, he brings this swagger, this confidence that is contagious on the beach's side. If he comes in, expect him to make an impact tonight. And as for keys for this matchup, Kyle, what are you looking for out of either side on night two? So for Hawaii's side, I want to see them keep fighting out there. They battled in that third set. It was a back and forth game with the injury of Chaz, the energy drop, but then it came back. But they know they can compete against the best. They are the number one seed. The middle connection, Boss, we talked about already, had a brilliant night, eight for 13. But Nusterer, three for six, only 333. I'd like to see him get more sets. As for Long Beach, they played brilliant volleyball. It was team effort, so fine tuning some of the things from last night. Last night, they get hit in the face. They come back with an adjustment. And all hands on deck, the team effort. Darius McRaven, are we going to see him start tonight? Nathan Harlan come in and make an impact. Nato Dickinson, full team effort for the beach last night. And here are the starting lineups first for Hawaii as they are putting out the same seven as last night. Jazz Galloway on the left side, Eleo Choi at the libero position, Kurt Nesterer in the middle, Tred Rosenthal, the setter, Ala Kaitad on the right side, Keone Thim, one of the left sides that's filling in for the injured Spiros Hakas, and the middle, Guillermo Vos, our aforementioned player to watch. Here's Long Beach State's starting lineup. They are just about to get introduced in person right now in front of the home crowd as Mason Briggs, the all-world libero. Right side, Skylar Varga. Setter, Aiden Knight. Left side, Satiri Shapanis. In the middle, Simon Torwi. The other left side, Clark Godbold. And the other middle getting the start tonight, Dieris McRaven and he was one of the other players that filled in for Long Beach State. Kyle, you and I were talking about it after the match that, hey, Dieris might be the one to get the start tonight. Not that Lazar Buchkov did anything wrong. Dieris McRaven has just been that good as well. And that's so great to see if you're at Long Beach State to have bench players pushing the starters scrapping for starting minutes and then when you get in there you perform and that's exactly what Darius McRaven did last night two for three hitting 667 in two blocks in just a small amount of time so I'm thrilled for the young man to get the start tonight I'm expecting big things from him so Long Beach State comes in 17 and 1 overall 3 and 0 in conference play they've been able to beat UC Santa Barbara twice, and they're looking to beat Hawaii twice here at home. And by the way, those are two very tough Big West opponents to start conference play. And it just shows you how deep the Big West is and how it is, in my opinion, the best conference out there in the NCAA. And here's a stat from last night. Hawaii, the nation's leader in hitting percentage and aces, only held to a 236 clip and a season low one ace. So what that tells me, the passing of the beach on point last night, and then the block defense of the beach really put the handcuffs on Hawaii. So the Rainbow Warriors come in with the top hitting percentage in the country. They were hitting almost 400, and like you said, Kyle, they were held to under 300. And when asking the players, did they do anything special to try and silence what you know, they just said, follow the game plan, just do what they do best. And they're really just building on their own game plans, night after night, practice after practice really, and match after match. And look for those adjustments after last night's match to come into play tonight. 
And when the beach serving as difficult and as tough as they are, that's why you're going to have that low 236 clip for the Rainbow Warriors. We're just about set to get going between Long Beach State and Hawaii. Clark Godbold putting it into the net. Had a little bit more of a difficult night last night as Nathan Harlan had to come into the front row for him. But you know that Godbold has that ability to bounce back as he is an All-American himself as Tred Rosenthal back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Dearis McRaven. Coach Alan Knight likes to say he jumps 50 inches in the air. I don't think that's true, but it certainly seems like it. <laughs> Holy smokes. I think McRaven is warm, Matt Brown. <laughs> I think he had a good warm up because that was an unbelievable kill. Fans still talking about that swing here. Good pass from Galloway. Guillermo Voss, they find the middle on the first set of this game. And if I'm Tred Rosenthal, that's where I want to set as many balls as possible. Voss the boss, 8 for 13 last night. Keone Thim, who had a big service run in set two of last night's match. With that serve, as Skyler Varga gets popped up. Good swing from the right side, Alaka'i A little ricochet off the block there for Todd. Varga ready in defense, in a good spot. Just doesn't get the right dig on that ball. Thim. The transfer from Santa Barbara Community College has been doing a great job at Hawaii at just that. Serving. He has been a serving specialist primarily, but now having to play all six rotations hasn't affected his serve, that's for sure. If anything, it's giving him more confidence. It's more touches for him. He's staying warm. He's staying in the flow of the game. And his serve is undeniably phenomenal. Of course, as we talk about the serve, puts it into the net. You know, those things happen. You know, and we're going to continue to compliment his serving throughout the night, and we'll see what transpires. <laughs> Two-point lead still early, just getting started here in set number one between Long Beach State and Hawaii. Skyler Varga puts it into the net there. And when you talk about a night two of a back-to-back, -back, yes, it is in the same venue in this case. Can you be a little bit more amped up? Can you be a little bit more nervous? Or what is the deal? You know, I, I believe that you're a bit more settled on this second night. Yeah. You got all those initial first game nerves out of the way, the feeling of the mid, the environment, the fans. And so in this night, I think it becomes more focused on the volleyball skill, which is going to make for high quality volleyball. Well, we certainly had a great end to night one. Again, going 30 to 28. If that wasn't a preview of what could happen tonight, it certainly is something that is not being shown right now as there are back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back service errors. Yeah, definitely not the serving start Coach Knight would like to see from his squad, but I presume that will change as the match progresses as Todd from the end line. Perfect pass. And a great swing, Shapanis from the back row. Good pass, good set from Aiden Knight. Finding that pick early opens up the floor, making it easier for everyone else. Simon Torwey back to serve for the beach, the 6'10 senior. Born in Spain, grew up in Germany. Todd down the line, just fitting it in. That's a good sign from Long Beach with Torwey serving that ball. McGord, he wasn't as effective as he usually is. How about this set from the youngster all the way out? Clark Godbold getting a little stuck in on the inside. Got to stay disciplined. Stay with Todd. McRaven just seems like he's floating in the air. 
Him gets dug up. I think there's a net violation called on the beach. Point Hawaii. Good high swing from Keone Thim. That's what we're going to see a heavy dose of. And as for the beach defense, it's about playing defense behind that block, knowing Thim's looking for those high hands, those edges. Where can they be position-wise to get as many digs as possible? Galloway missing long there. As Aiden Knight will go back to serve. Knight, the setter, setting at around a 350 clip, hitting percentage-wise for the team. He's been doing a great job once again. Outside it goes, Thim blocked and roofed. I think Varga got all of that one. Wow. Varga with a huge penetration on the net there, leaving nowhere for Thim to go. Here we see the quick replay. Tempo outside to Thim. Look at Varga press into the angle. Thim off the top of the block this time. Got bold. Locked back. Saw a lot of good hitter coverage last night. As no coverage for that. A triple block on Alaka Itad. And that's a great move from Godbold. It's his job as that pin hitter to set up that triple block. Again, the coverage you talked about at Matt Brown. Here's the three-man block. Godbold sealing that line, and that is the goal of the triple. Good pass from Choi. Tough play for Mason Briggs to get that second ball, and it leads to a free ball opportunity for Hawaii. Alakai Todd pounding it down the line. And there it is again, the D-ball. Good flow, good rhythm from Rosenthal. A little bit against the flow, I like to see that. He, he prepares what's so great about Rosenthal. 17-year-old. He prepares so early, so well. It looks the same every time. Good flow back there for the D. Nurstra back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Find themselves up by two. Well, not anymore after that service error. So a few service errors on either side to start this match. But it's pretty even at this point. I believe that's the fourth service error so far on Hawaii's side. Todd missing long there. How much does that block affect any swing from the Hawaii side? You know, Todd had a lot of time to see that block. That set is close to him. It's up and down, which means he has more vision. He sees that block. So he probably felt those four hands in front of his face looking for the high hands. Thim. My goodness. Sharp, sharp angle. Man, you have to come off in area four playing defense quickly because these swings, these athletic outside hitters are hitting angles, as we see there. And Soto's just quite not ready, still moving on defense. You've got to be stopped. Nick Raven having to hang in the air there and now gets the free ball opportunity. Soto's over the block and down. There you see the salute from Sotos, identifying that swing a little higher than the block of Hawaii. Good coverage, again, the coverage of the beach, the coverage of Hawaii looking to extend these rallies. And that's what makes these matches so exciting. Dearest McRaven with the serve, all tied at 10, as McRaven, the middle, playing some back row defense. Thim, tight to the net. Varga, two-handing it over. Scramble play, doesn't work. Skyler Varga finding a hole in the Hawaii defense. Long Beach showing that creativity here early. Skyler Varga with the two-handed set kill. McRaven, of course, the one that is from Hawaii, comes in and makes a big impact against Hawaii as he will break his serve there, Hawaii getting the side out. But a good couple points from McRaven and a dig to top it off. So a good round at the front net there for McRaven. But Voss with another kill. Little break to wipe the floor right now as Keone Thim awaits his turn to serve. 
averaging a little bit over a kill a set this year. But you can bet those numbers will rise as long as he's the starter. Right side, it's Varga. No touch called, and he misses wide. Varga, sharp angle swing there. No hands to be found. That one sails wide. The Rainbow Warriors up by one. Still early here in the first set. Looking to get their first conference win of 2024. The net having a little bit to do with that service ace, but it was a great serve nonetheless for Thim. Yeah, and Thim's fired up back there. Long Beach State, the goal when you have a server like Thim is just to get that ball up, passing it 10 feet in the air at the 10 foot line. Give your team some options. Not easy to do though, Matt. Long Beach State going to a four man passing back line. And Clark Godbold with the serve receive. And this time it is Satir Shapani's working it off the Hawaii block. Smart swing from Shapani's. A little chizzy off the side of the block there. Love those terms he used. <laughs> a chizzy. <laughs> Only because I used to do it all the time. <laughs> that just missing down the line. On that serve from Skylar Varga, here comes a serving substitution for Hawaii. And it is their 6'7 grad transfer, Kevin Calling. He's been a, an effective serving sub for them all year long. Of course, a multiple time All-American honoree from Lewis. That serve long. Yeah, that one. Not getting all of that on top of the ball when I'm speaking about the top spin. Looking for a little more wrap on that ball. That one sails long for calling. Fourth service error for Hawaii. Four service errors for Long Beach State. Good coverage on Hawaii's side. Somehow got it over. Varga touch called and Long Beach State will get that point anyhow. And you saw some uh, words from the Long Beach State side. They thought that possibly Hawaii was over the net on that pass. You got to play through. Don't stop. You don't hear the whistle. Play through as Long Beach did there, and they get rewarded. Shapanis with that jump float serve that he's been pulling out. As of late, we saw it really for the first time last night, and a net violation called on Hawaii's attack. And Long Beach State will take a one-point lead. That will lead to a timeout on the floor. Long Beach State hits 15 first. We'll be back with this exciting night two between the number one and number two teams in the country after this. 2024 Men's Volleyball National Championship runs through the Big West. The Hawaiian Islands presents the 2024 Outrigger Big West Men's Volleyball Championship, April 18th through the 20th on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Catch America's premier men's volleyball conference in a battle for an automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. Visit BigWest.org for more information. The assistant coach Milan Zarkovic and Charlie Wade on the right side of your frame there. Both coaches having national acclaim as Zarkovic has been the most recent assistant coach of the year, ABCA wise. Charlie Wade, of course, in his 15th year at the helm as there's Alan Knipe in his 21st season. Look, Long Beach State has had these duels with Hawaii, and it's in a large part because of both of these coaching staffs as a whole. It's the culture they build, that they have built at each respective program that attracts quality athletes, quality humans, which leads to phenomenal volleyball play. By the way, Nato Dickinson coming in as a blocking sub in that rotation for Long Beach State. 
but could not affect that swing from Hawaii, and they get the side out. So Aiden Knife is back into the front row to set as we are right at that midpoint of the first set, 15 all. Alaka Itad back to serve. That just missing long. And that is service error number five for Hawaii Sai. Uh, both teams kind of giving away a few points on the serves. Definitely will be a conversation uh, for each coaching squad in their next huddle. I'll correct myself. That was service error number six already for the Rainbow Warriors. Galloway working it through that double block. He twisted his ankle last night, but he seems fine right now. Big time swing. That's if you're a Hawaii fan, you love to see this. Looking like he's still jumping all right out there, Matt Brown. <laughs> Heard that he's feeling just fine here for night two, getting the start. I think there's a little bit of blood on one of the players. I think it's Aiden Knight right now, so we're taking a little break to tape it up, patch it up. Get it good to go. Knipp has had to work through some injuries in past seasons. And he's really been one of those players that has fought hard to get back to the level of kind of like an All-American status, that high level of play. As I think we're set to get back to action. 16-16. And Chaz Galloway back to serve for Hawaii. The senior from San Diego. As Godbold off the triple block. Boy, that is tough to do. What a pearl from Mason Briggs. The jump set from the libero from the back row. Keeping Godbold in rhythm with a little bit of a tempo set. Thim hard off that double block and out. Smart high swing from Keone Thim, who's having himself a lovely evening here to start. It's two for six with that swing. And a new entry into this weekend. Kai Taylor, the 6'2 redshirt freshman from Costa Mesa, coming back to Southern California and serving. And a good one. McRaven able to push it over and down for Long Beach State. We've seen the heat from McRaven, and now we're seeing the off speed from McRaven. And sometimes the set isn't always perfect, and the goal is to better the ball. I think that's a term a lot of teams like to use. Better the ball, right? Setter would love to have that set perfect, but it isn't there, so what are you going to do to make it better? Good work there from McRaven. Nathan Harlan. Our player to watch has come in to serve now. Thim gets dug up by Harlan. Thim again. Just that extra effort to keep the ball in play. Little miscommunication, who's gonna get that ball? And now Shapan is too, handing it down to end that long rally for the beach. So cool, so calm and collected is Shapanis there. Chaos on the court, using his vision, finds the space. Harlan, now with the beach, up by two in set number one, missing on that serve. As it is now just a one point set, and Tred Rosenthal back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Nate Harlan going to stay in here to play back row for Clark Godbold. McRaven, uh, that crossed the net as that was such a great one-on-one -on -one between McRaven and Boss. Bang, bang, play. Another perfect pass from Briggs. McRaven flying. Voss makes the right move, but it just slides under him. Unfortunate break there for Hawaii. 
Connor Bloom now comes in to serve. Serve into the net there. Double digit service errors if you combine both sides right now in just the first set. Keone Thim back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Boy, they would love to have him go on a serving run. That high toss. And the hard serve goes long. Boy, that was 75 miles an hour. I think that's the fastest we've seen uh, between these two teams in the last night and tonight already. Big time swing, but a break for the beach as they are up to with Farga. Back to serve. That is in. Wow. Great serve from Varga. Big time serve, and Coach and I have talked about it in the post-game presser last night, the effective serving of Varga. And he led the team in service attempts last night with 19, him effective serving with 19 serves. And the pressure that he brings, not only is he putting the ball in 19 times, he's putting a ton of pressure on Hawaii at the same time. So Long Beach State going into this timeout up by three. And Hawaii looking to regroup here in the first set, the beach being able to take down the Rainbow Warriors in straight sets in night one of this great matchup. And we're seeing why these are number one and number two teams in the country. Yeah, that third set thriller, 30 to 28. It felt like the fans were standing for six or seven points uh, in the standing room only as we take a look at our ABCA, NBA National Collegiate Poll, Hawaii there. In first, Long Beach State nipping at the heels of Hawaii. And after tonight, depending on the results, we'll see if there's a shift uh, in those rankings. I'm sure if you talk to both coaches, they're not so concerned about the rankings as much as they are concerned about getting wins and playing good volleyball as they continue their season. As you can see, Grand Canyon, UCLA, UC Irvine right there, and they might all be contenders this year for the national championship, which will be right here inside the Walter Pyramid. A lot of good volleyball around the nation. It's a fun time to be a men's volleyball fan in USA. Good serve, Skylar Varga coming out of the timeout, only just serving another ace. We just talked about Skylar Varga and his effective serving. And he keeps it going here after that timeout. Varga, the transfer from the, Univer the University of Saskatchewan. Tight to the net there. Hawaii unable to get it up and over. And Long Beach State on this run once again to close out a set. And it doesn't matter what opponent that we've seen, at least here inside the Walter Pyramid, uh, that Long Beach State just seems to be able to finish sets very effectively. And you just saw it here, the points just slipping away from Hawaii. It was back and forth, side out volleyball, 21-19. Next thing you know, you blink, 24-19 effective serving and we talked about the hitting percentage of Hawaii last night and it is due to the fact of these tough serves from the beach Varga being that leader last night I expect also Simon Torrey to step up his serving which we didn't have a stellar night last night so not a good sign for Hawaii if Simon Torrey also gets his serve going uh, this evening so Long Beach State at set point here in set number one and they've been able to really hit against Hawaii in this first set. They are hitting 550. Hawaii is actually not that far behind. I think they're hitting just above, well actually they're hitting at 250. And that's really just a big difference for Long Beach State. I think I was looking at kill percentage versus hitting percentage. Long Beach State at 500, Hawaii at 250 in hitting percentage and that may be the biggest difference 
in this first set as Skylar Varga back to serve once again with set point. Nice set. Wow, what a set from Trent Rosenthal. Chaz Galloway showing us no signs of weakness on that angle as he as on the ankle as he steps close on that swing. Voss back to serve now as Hawaii has hit 20, but they've got some work to do to even this up at 24 apiece here in the first set. Voss with the jump spin serve and puts it long. Service errors kind of hurting Hawaii as Long Beach State takes the first set. They're up in this match, one set to none. We will be back with more Long Beach State and Hawaii here on ESPN+. Plus. Out as per usual, as we want to talk about Hawaii a little bit. We do a little game, Kyle, on baseball here on ESPN+. Plus. I wanted to bring it to volleyball just for this night. Who's that Olympian? And this is also a member of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. Do you think you have an idea of who this is? I do know who that is. I've met him, Clay Stanley, Clayton yes. Stanley, who maybe had the heaviest arm in the world for the while. Uh, I mean, maybe one of the best players in the world for a long stretch of period. 2008 gold medalist. I mean, phenomenal player, phenomenal guy on and off the court. Love this trivia. I've got one right here, starting off the year, Matt Brown. <laughs> Clay Stanley, and of course, the Stanley family is always around volleyball. Got one at BYU right now. And that is always just one of the great families of volleyball, men's or women's. And he was able to spend some years with Hawaii and then went pro and, of course, represented uh, our country well, helping to achieve that 2008 gold medal. And, of course, the reason why I say who's that Olympian is, of course, this being an Olympic year in 2024. And we have some high sights set on the gold medal here th for the United States, don't we? It seems to be that way every Olympic year when you're speaking of our men's indoor team and our women's indoor team. Yeah. But you have one of our Long Beach legends, TJ DeFalco, uh, leading the charge for the USA squad who's really become one of the best players. Well, we will have to s talk about an Olympian from Long Beach State later, so let's not give anyone any hints, right? <laughs> <laughs> what a dig there to start off this second set. Net movement there, and it's a net violation on Long Beach State. So it nullifies that great rally. Good work from our down referee there, seeing that net. Tread Rosenthal with the first serve for the Rainbow Warriors. As, boy, the hammer laid from the back row. Clark Godbold. Probably hard for the fans at home to hear the noise that that swing made, but it was quite the thud from Godbold. And it's a good touch there from Sakanoko, who's come into this match for Galloway. And Long Beach State serving right away to the freshman from France, Louis Sakanoko, getting the second set start as Keone Thim will go back to serve. So Sakunoko will be on the left, pretty much in the Chaz Galloway spot. So you hope that that leg is feeling okay, but I'm sure a little bit of load management as well is, is the thought from head coach Charlie Wade. Just want to make sure players are as healthy as possible as the season rolls on. Dig from Thim. Outside it goes, it's Shapani's, and he's able to get a touch and get the kill. What an angle from Shapani's there. That set a little bit off the net. The high finish snap from four to four. Sakanoko not quite ready to dig that ball. Varga back to serve for Long Beach State. All tied at two, just getting started here in the second set. Long Beach State is up in the match. One set 
to none. Sakunoko tight to the net and gets blocked in roof. It's a really good set from off the net. Wow, getting it all the way up to the net. You want to be aggressive as you can. That's a good chance for Hawaii to recycle, cover that ball. What they've been doing so effectively that time, nobody home there as that ball drops. Simon Torawi getting in on his first block of the evening. Good block from Guilherme Voss. He only had one block last night, and you would probably want to expect a little more. And he puts one on the board here tonight, and he was so effective yeah, offensively was. last night. We'll see if he can be good offensively and defensively tonight. Hawaii's going to need it, I think, Matt. Flying solo on that block. Is Guilherme Voss back to serve? Varga missing, trying to go down the line. And you can just see how much torque, how much effort is required to try and get by both of these teams' blocks. It's a really difficult ball to hit coming all the way across the court as well. Difficult ball to set for Aiden Knight. Torwi has to bump it over. Little misconnection there. And now Sakanoko with that roll, roll, roll shot. Sakanoko there with the chef's kiss on that roll shot, freezing the defense. Uh, it's one thing if you open hand tip, it's late, but if you keep that hand open, you look to swing, it can really hold defenses as we saw there. Nice play. Float serve from Voss, and it leads to a Hawaii ace. That pass going into area four. Nobody home there. Some miscommunication from Sotos and Aiden Knight. Saw Voss bring out the jump spin serve, but right now back to that jump float. Godbold responding from the back row. That pass a little bit tight, but not a problem. As Aiden Knight uses the boosties to get that tight ball. Here we see the replay right at the peak, and Godbold with a kill out of the back row. That's a blocking roof for Torwi. That is a straight up read block from Torwi. He is not committing early on the middle there, Nurserer. He is reading the game and making that move. That is so difficult to do. Nicely done from Torwe as he collects another block. Nurstur misses wide there. I like Tred Rosenthal going back to Nurstur there. We have a challenge on the side of Hawaii. I believe they're looking for a net violation on Simon Torwi. So we'll see how this one shapes out. We had a pretty good amount of challenges last night. And sometimes it was kind of back to back. Long Beach State, I will say, got the better of those challenges. It just so happened that they were able to get those overturns as I think this is a quick, quick decision from Tom Ulibari. Let's see it from our end. Was there a net touch? Yep, definitely seems so. That right arm of Simon Torwi and a good call. Good work from our referees there. And piggyback off what you said last night about the challenges. Coach Naip had, I think, three successful challenges on the night that seemed just to be back to back to back. Kind of a deflating uh, energy killer for Hawaii side. And Naip talked about it after the match, saying, you know, he doesn't really see it very often. He is trusting his squad. He talks about the boys using their head, not our hearts, to not make emotional calls during the challenge. So great discipline from the beach. Alaka Itad with the serve.
Bump over and down, but out of bounds from Hawaii. And Long Beach State has been winning these tough rallies. And Choi staying in there, keeping his helmet on for that scoop. And I don't think we talked enough last night about how well he played balancing the serve reception and collecting nine digs last night. I thought he did really well. Sakanoko over the block and fitting it in. And that's a creative swing there on a busted pass from Sakanoko. Here we see the replay. Good late step close, just high. Somehow brings it back down just over the top of Aiden Knight. Louis Sakanoko, highly, highly touted from Paris. Good swing tread Rosenthal. And we've been seeing the setter for Hawaii trying to be a little bit more offensive in the front row. And you love to see the six foot, a six foot eight freshman, his height advantage gives him that opportunity to be aggressive at the net and take big swings like that. Go ahead, young fella. Well, here's a big difference that you can see statistically between the setters. Rosenthal, well over 30 kills on the year. Aiden Knight, who is looking to take that second ball for Long Beach State, just two as that attack will go Long Beach State's way. A touch is called. Yeah, you're definitely going to see more kills from Rosenthal. That swing on a busted pass from Sotos goes down, and I think Choi was thinking it hit the net and no blocker, but that ball had a lot of ricochet off the net. Thim hard off the block. Sakanoko, that creative secondary ball, but it doesn't work this time. Long Beach State's block was ready. McRaven says, you shall not pass on that swing there. And here you see this Bic, what a lot of teams around the world are doing, passing that free ball in the middle of the court, letting that outside hitter decide if they're going to swing or set. There's the kill from Todd on the D-ball there, but that just goes to show you the high-level play, the international style of play that Coach Knight has talked about, this Hawaii squad and how they play. That is one facet that we see right there. Yeah, and we're seeing the two-hand over with pace. That is something that is developing internationally as well. So whenever you see those things that you don't really see before, it's probably because these players are seeing it on the pro level. As Voss puts it up and Thim misses wide there. I think we're gonna get a challenge from Hawaii's side. And Coach Charlie Wade, I think gonna discuss something with Tom Ulibari just to make sure that that's the call, and it is a challenge. It is a challenge on whether the Long Beach State block touched it. That ball moving so fast off of Thim's hand. Did not see uh, anything happen at the net if there was a touch. Did not see it, but aggressive swing for Thim, looking for those high hands. Boy, these touch calls are so hard to discern. We've got our angles from our cameras as, let's see here. Looking for finger movement, looking for change in rotation on the ball. Right away you see the Hawaii players signaling that there was a touch. And of course, they're the closest ones to it. Yeah, and usually, that is a sign that they probably heard a touch as well as we see the net cam view here. Oh, it could have been a straight field goal map round. It's so tough to tell as maybe, at least when I saw it on that angle, there's a chance that a Long Beach State blocker had their arm on the net. Mm. Uh, we did have a review yesterday, last night, where the challenge was for a block touch or just a touch from the opposing side, and it ended up being called in. So maybe we Another could angle. get this angle to go. I just don't know. 
Yeah, and like you said, last night we had that touch looking for a challenge. The ball landed in anyways, and so at the end of the day, referees looking to make the right call. If they see something different in the replay, they're allowed to just make the right call, even if the challenge wasn't accepted. And the call on the court is no touch. And that, that slash-like motion from Tom Ulibari says that it, it, there just isn't enough evidence. You need enough evidence to overturn a call, and it was just indiscernible. Either way, Nathan Harlan now in to serve for Long Beach State. Them just one blocker up, and it's too easy. And he gets one blocker up because of that aggressive approach from Voss holding Long Beach State's Darius McRaven on that block, one on one for Thim. Here's Rosenthal. Shapani's dug up by Sakanoko. Just put right back down, Dier's McRaven. McRaven floating out there, Matt Brown. I, I'm just in awe right now of his lateral movement. Here we see the replay, lateral movement and then ability to elevate it. If you're gonna tip it over him, you gotta go higher. Voss blocked and roofed with McRaven going back to serve. It's now Simon Torwey getting in on the block party for the beach. And that's going to be seven blocks already for Long Beach State doing what they do best. From the back row, Nate Harlan getting in on the offense for Long Beach State. So he's staying in once again and contributing. And you see it there. That time the 40, we like to call that set a 40 where it's not in the middle of the court, it's just behind the setter. So some movement, especially in transition, creating a different look for that Hawaii block and deep. High back set from Rosenthal. I think there was a net, yeah, net violation called on Long Beach State. So point Hawaii, they tie it back up. So yes, a net violation on Long Beach State, but still another block touch uh, from them and that is, you know, those add up in the mindset of Hawaii as they continue to swing and try to challenge this defense of Long Beach State. Keone Thim. Just a monster serve and a monster block. Voss and Todd combining on the double block. Good movement at the net there from Voss and Todd, and that's a big block those four hands. Good step shuffle for Voss and he secures the block. Thim to serve again. Now Hawaii up by one here in the second set. That one into the net. This was the set that Keone Thim went on a long run at the beginning of that set. Gave Hawaii a big advantage. However, just some things happened in the middle there and Long Beach State was able to fight back and win it. 15 service attempts last night for him. He had four service errors, so not as many aces as we're used to seeing as Varga puts that one wide down the line. So that is nine service errors for Hawaii and seven service errors for Long Beach State as Kai Taylor comes back in to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Boss discussing things with Milan Zarkovic. Kuponofe there as well as Taylor misses on that serve. It's a difficult role. The serving sub to come in and put an aggressive serve on the court. I think we're spoiled having Nate Harlan on the side of Long Beach. And as Hawaii, usually Keone Thim uh, as two of the best serving subs in the nation. Yeah, but Thim now having to start. Nathan Harlan having to play the front row. Both of them getting a little bit of full-time action as there is Luis Sakonoko getting action as well in the front row and the kill. It is 15-14, Hawaii up by one. We'll take a timeout here on ESPN Plus for more Pick West men's volleyball after this. Between Long Beach State 
and Hawaii. Remember, we played Who's That Olympian earlier in this broadcast. Let's play that for Long Beach State. Who's this Olympian? As this is another three-time Olympian, but a two-time medalist. Kyle? My guess is David Lee. Yes. Yes. Yes, you're right. As there is Louis Sakonoko doing something that I think David Lee did very well, and that's handle over passes. Gosh, David Lee is a beast on the volleyball court and just an absolute gem of a human being off the court. One of my good friends, I've played AVP events with D. Lee. Uh, you know, his energy and excitement for life is unmatched, uh, in my opinion. And he was an honor, it was an honor to get to know him and for Long Beach State to have such a legend come through the program. And we were honoring another middle blocker earlier, earlier this year in Tom Hoff, as middle blockers are just a pride of this program. By the way, there's a challenge right now on Louis Sakanoko touching the net, and I think he did. Super close. It almost looks as if his hand comes down through the net mat, and our down referee, Tom Bari, confirming that. So now, Long Beach State taking the point away and tying it up at 15 apiece. As Simon Torwey, speaking of great middles, goes back to serve for the beach. That spin serve has just been not off in that sense. It's just been off in general for Torwey. Yeah, we're so used to. I think we're spoiled with how good Torwey serves and how consistent his serve has been for the beach. Just hasn't quite found the touch last night or tonight. Good serve from Sakanoko as the man from France finds an ace. Louis Sakanoko making an impact. That's the goal when you're coming off the bench. How can you change the flow of the game? And Sakanoko doing that here on the side of UH. Fun fact. Matt Brown, about Luis Sakanoko, I spoke with someone who knew Colton Cowell, talked about how Colton played pro in France and saw Sakanoko, and I think gushed about how you how great UH of a program was, how good of a school it was, and I think kind of convinced Sakanoko to, to test the waters, come see how the NCAA was, and what a not a better, what a great place to come and play if you're from Europe to come to Hawaii and play for a established program and so kudos to Colton Cowell for being a good talent scout and here's a look at that last service ace from Sakanoko and you can just see that curve or cut action if we bring in a baseball term on that serve yeah easier to see from that angle on the end line is a little bit of movement that right to left movement starting on your left side as a passer moving to your right side of the passer so if your arms are out too early and you're swinging your arms, you're, you're, you're bound to make a mistake as that movement on the serve. Good work from Sakanoko at the end line. As he comes out of the timeout, looking to extend this Hawaii lead here in set number two. This was the set where the Rainbow Warriors had a good amount of a lead in last night's match. They're looking to do so again here tonight. But the timeout works from Long Beach State side. And that serve goes into the net. Good timeout. Again, Sakanoko only a freshman six foot five, so tons of potential for this young athlete. That one down uh, for Rosenthal. So quick. It goes in his hand and it's down on the ground. And that's the benefit of the height of Tred Rosenthal there on that dunk. And you can see the Hawaii fans here in attendance. They always travel well. As we're in the Walter Pyramid for this two match set. Long Beach State fans, of course, out in droves. And the student section all filled up for this great 1v2 matchup. Keone Thim blocked back. Good coverage. Alakai Todd 
from the right side in the back row and a good kill. Big time coverage from UH there and it turns into a point. Swing of momentum here, 1916. Here's the big swing from Todd inside the block of McRaven and Varga. Nurse tour. Back to serve for Hawaii. Chapani's off the block and down. The back row attack from either side has been effective. Chapani's doing what he does best with the with the thumb down, wrist away swing, as we like to say. It's so important as a big hitter to find different angles. You don't want it to swing directly into that block, and Shapani's showing us how it's done there. Oh, that seemed like an overpass, and somehow Long Beach State is able to keep it alive. Thim uh, off the block. What a rally. I know it wasn't as long as some other ones, but that was impressive. Nathan Harlan from his back. As we check out the replay here on his back, just slapping it up, doing whatever he can to keep that ball alive. And that is the name of the game, keep the ball off the floor. McRaven blocked back, great coverage, Shapanis. The jump set by Choi, overpass to overpass to Guilherme Vox. Wow, big time play there from UH. The tight set at the net. Todd staying clear of that net and then the overpass for Voss. Coach Alan Knight talking with the R2, Tom Ulibari. So that's what the pause in the action is for. I think he's just discussing a detail in that last rally. And now, Tred Rosenthal back to serve for Hawaii. Up by four late here in the second set. Joust won by Todd. Opportunity for the beach. Triple block and oof. Hawaii non-stop right now here in the end of the second set. They're trying to close out this second set. They call it the Manoa Roofing Company. And it is come to play here in night two against Long Beach State. And maybe that is something that was missing from Hawaii in night one, the block, as it just seems like in night two, the presence is there at the net. Yeah, only six blocks on the night last night for Hawaii, but already on the board for three, so definitely increasing that average. And I think it happens because of that first night blockers starting to read the hitters, getting fine-tuned on these Long Beach State hitters, just as Long Beach State is reading uh, Hawaii. And so the second night, Blockers have a better feel at the net, a better discipline of where they want to move and how they want to get some blocks. And it's showing right now as Hawaii up five. Here's another look at that block. Good cover on that first one. Look at this joust here. Both teams battling at the net and this triple block goes down. That's a high, high swing from Sotos. It's just in the hands of Voss at the peak, at the pinnacle. Fans getting in it. The wave is here. Inside the Walter Pyramid. Something that you'll see from both fan bases. Hawaii and Long Beach State. Both knowing the ocean well. As Tred Rosenthal misses on that serve out of the timeout. That was a break that Long Beach State needed. Still down four here in set number two as Connor Bloom comes in to serve for the beach. Connor Bloom, one of those serving subs coming in again who was effective last night with his serving. 
as he had four total service attempts last night and one ace. Outside it goes, Alaka'i Todd. Big swing, a big kill. And it looks as if Tred Rosenthal has really settled into the match. It, it looks like a calmer, more focused Tred Rosenthal than it was last night. That first night in the mid, with some nerves. Setting not as crisp, I'm sure, as he would like tonight. He's looking good. Keone Thin. Hawaii closing in on a set to victory. Long Beach State having to recycle and recycle again, but it works. Skyler Varga keeps setting him. I think Varga a little quiet on the night so far, Matt. He's now four for 12 with that kill after a couple big swings. And big confidence for Aiden Knight to keep flowing it back there and keeping Hawaii on their toes at the net. Nato Dickinson is in as a blocking sub, but it doesn't matter there. Serve going into the net. And now Hawaii with set point here in the second set, looking for their first set victory of this weekend. And Guilherme Vaz will go back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. And half the pyramid on their feet here to sell it, look for this Hawaii match set point. It's called Aloha Ball <laughs> in set number two. Not so fast, says Skylar Varga. And Varga's looking to get going offensively. And that's one way to do it. Looks like a little miscommunication at the net. Alakai Todd. Dropping his hands on that block, so Nurster just up there by himself as as Shapanis. Well, that hybrid serve as Sakonoko off the triple block. Sakonoko again, the firepower on display. Pounding it down, and the set two victory goes to Hawaii. 25-20 in each of the first two sets of this great match as we are tied in the match. One set to one, Long Beach State, Hawaii. Back inside the Walter Pyramid here on ESPN Plus, we've got Hawaii and Long Beach State numbers one and two in the country and they are looking like it. We're all tied up in this match at one set a piece and we welcome you courtside once again as I'm Matt Brown he's Kyle Friend an AVP pro and Kyle what was the difference for Hawaii in that last set for them to get their first set victory against Long Beach State this weekend few things that I saw blocking was a little bit better there for Hawaii Tred Rosenthal moving the ball around looking like uh, a bit more comfortable like I said in this match setting different guys against the flow giving his hitters opportunities at the same time Luis Sakanoko coming in and making an impact as that's a big kill from McRaven but Hawaii coming in playing better in that second set but Sakanoko making an impact and that's what you want to do as a bench player coming in make an impact Sakanoko the freshman showing us that he's ready to play. So Long Beach State was able to win the first set 25 to 20, and Hawaii was able to win the second set 25 to 20, as Long Beach State was able to really dominate with the block in set number one. Hawaii came out with the block in set number two, and now you can see those stats between the first two sets as Long Beach State's block is getting the advantage in the match as a whole, but Hawaii's block seems to be getting there. And the kills there for Hawaii, 27 to 20. So better set distribution from Rosenthal, better set location from Rosenthal as he starts to get comfortable in this Walter Pyramid, and it's a good sign for Hawaii. And they're passing the ball a little better. Choi doing a good job managing that serve reception. We're underway here in the third set. 
coming over. Skylar Varga, hello. <laughs> As Keone Thim puts it down for Hawaii. And we are in the front row here <laughs> as Varga coming over to say hello. And how about that swing from Thim? Almost nobody up, and he just hammers that inside the 10-foot line. Always fun here, sideline and courtside. As Varga now on the other side, a lot safer for us because that was a hard attack off the block. You know, we had a uh, errant ball come our way and just ping your MacBook last night. <laughs> RIP to that thing. And now we have a body coming into the ESPN booth on the sideline here. You have to be careful when you're sitting this close to the action. Nathan Harlan missing on that serve. So Harlan in for Long Beach State to start this third set. It's always that pivotal third set. That can be on the minds of both teams as Keone Thim goes back to serve for Hawaii. Good serve from Thim. That was 74 as that ball is off the Hawaii block and it somehow goes out of bounds, trickling off the net. That's such a difficult ball to get a kill on. Shapani is showing us how to work the edges of the block. You hear a lot of athletes talk about that as they attack, especially off the net. You know you have a bunch of hands in your face. Back set, two hand over with pace. And I'll cut you, Todd, with a kill. Yeah, Todd kind of shoveling that one from his shoulder over the net. Not a problem. Referees don't mind. It goes down. Another way to get a kill as we're seeing a variety of that around the nation. Float serve from Voss. Simon Torwe putting it down there. Now Long Beach State ties it back up by three. So good throw down there from Torrey. This totally legal as long as that ball is in front of you and there's a continuous motion. Totally clean kill from Torrey. Todd off the block and there's a net violation called on the beach. Good dig from the beach there. Looked like Torrey on his way down trying to see where that ball went. Maybe got an elbow into the net there. Here's Todd back to serve again for the Rainbow Warriors. Left hand over from Torwi, and now Sakanoko with the kill through the double block, and Hawaii now just seems to be on a roll. Volleyball is just looking a little easier on the side of Hawaii right now. Long Beach State really having to work to earn a side out. Good spin serve from Todd. Here's Harlan from the back row. That's blocked back by Nurstra. Varga high off the block. Good save by Thim initially, but it ends in a beach point. Good touches there from Hawaii with a chance to get that one back over. And now Shapanis goes back to serve for the beach. That short jump float serve. Block and a roof. Torwe and Knight combining on the double block. As hard as Sakanoko hit that ball, it came back even harder off the hands of Simon Torwe. Here we see the replay. He takes one big step. You can barely see the ball as it goes down. And there's a kill from the back row. Keone Thim. Answering for Hawaii. Good decision there from Rosenthal. I don't think Long Beach State was expecting that set, and that is the goal. If you're a setter, keep the defense on their toes. Sakanoko back to serve. And 
and sends that one long. Though that one was at 70 miles an hour. And for those at home that won't exactly know what we're talking about in terms of miles an hour, for men's volleyball, 70 is pretty much plus serving. Above average, I would say, is 70. And we already saw a 75 from Thim. And I, I'm guessing that is one of, if not the hardest serve uh, in the nation as you see a huge block from Nate Harlan and Dearis McGraven. The beach block coming back into play here in set number three. So we are all tied up at one set apiece. Long Beach State and Hawaii. Simon Torwey. Good serve, keeping it in this time. From the back row, Shapanis, the big working as McRaven kind of pulled that Hawaii block over. And it starts with the block touch at the net, giving Long Beach State an opportunity to get into a good transition rhythm. And that time, the Bick working for Shapanis. Sending it long that time. Long Beach State still up by one here in the third set. They are hitting a lot better, airless right now at 7.14 here in this set alone. In set number two, they were held to 200 hitting as Nurster goes back to serve for Hawaii. And an ace, Kurt Nurser down the line. The line to line serve, that's the fastest angle, if you will, on the court. Takes a little bit more time to go into the angle down the line. So fast, it gets on the serve receive quickly. Good serve from Nurser. You see on your screen, that was the fifth service ace of the night for Hawaii. Long Beach State with just two. That was a little bit of an advantage for the beach last night as well. The serving just seemed to go their way, but now Hawaii is showing why they're the number one team in the country in service aces. Just one ace last night. You knew that just wasn't gonna last for Hawaii as they have turned it up here tonight. Oh, what a block, Nathan Harlan! There's a reason why he was our player to watch tonight. And there's no choice but to watch him there. Three blocks last night, and he puts another block on the board. That's his second of tonight. Chapan is working it through the double block. And now Long Beach State feeling the momentum in set three. That momentum has definitely shifted. I talked about how volleyball looked easy on the side of Hawaii. Well, not the case at the moment. Thim. Touch called, and Hawaii gets the side out. That was a scud missile there into the angle. Those balls are even harder to dig than the ones that have the top spin, in my opinion. Here's a great set from Rosenthal, and Thim, a little, maybe a little backspin on that one, Matt. Here's Rosenthal. Varga off the block. McRaven two-handing it over that time. Thim, I don't think he got a touch on that one. And Long Beach State gets the side out. So unforced error there for Thim. Now it's Harlan. Back to serve once again. Serving sub initially, but now playing all six rotations. Thim taking advantage of a little late block from McRaven. And it looked as if that set was just a little bit inside on purpose for Thim on the right side to just create a different look. And it works out for Hawaii. Overpass. And Alakai Tide taking advantage. McRaven there late 
on the block and his hands just high and off the net instead of just trying to create a good spot on the net for that block. He's reaching high, not taking up anything over the net. Long Beach State adjusting to a four-man pass in the back row here on this Keone Thim serve. Varga taking the pass this time. Varga going down the line, that's in. Oh, and a sneaky down the line swing from Varga. It sets a little low. Sakunoka was all over the angle. Didn't expect the line heater from Varga. Now McRaven goes back to serve. Through all of that, Long Beach State still up by two. Right side, Todd. Net violation called on the beach. And Hawaii closes to within one. And all these nets on the beach kind of tell me we're being a little over aggressive, trying to penetrate the net. Uh, Got to trust the discipline, trust the practice. You don't need to go higher for some of these swings. Voss. Right side. Varga gets dug up. Sakanoko blocked and roofed. And that is not where you want to swing if you're Sakanoko into the big six foot ten block of Simon Torrey. Good recover here, recycle from Hawaii, but Sakanoko finding that there's that discipline block we're looking for from the Torrey. 2023 second team All American Simon Torrey led the nation in blocking a year ago. That is out of bounds, no touch called. Long Beach State would like a call from the referees, but it doesn't matter, they got the point. They're at 15 first, and we will take a break here on ESPN Plus, more set three, coming your way, Big West men's volleyball. And the student section munching on that good pizza, as pizza does get handed out here from time to time, should you make your way out to the pyramid always a good time especially in men's volleyball season number one versus number two in the country on night two We're glad you're here on ESPN plus Matt Brown Kyle friend hope you're enjoying your Saturday Varga missing on that serve so the timeout works in favor of Hawaii of course that was just a timeout on the floor as Alaka Itad goes back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. The beach up by two in this always pivotal third set. Mason Briggs taking that second ball, and there is a triple block put up by Hawaii. It's a strong, sturdy three man block there. He got in the hands of Rosenthal and Nurster. Nowhere for Shapanis to go. Seems like we're just going back and forth here in the third set. Even though Long Beach State has had that point advantage. Right side, Varga from the back row. Good dig initially by Choi. It's put back over. Here's a free ball. Opportunity Beach. Put down Simon Torwey. Hawaii scrapping right now, not letting anything touch the ground. But they give Hawaii, uh, Long Beach State a free ball, and Simon Torwey makes them pay. There's that dig from Choi, the full layout. And how about this save from Thim? Here we see Torwey off the net. When he jumps from eight feet off the net, it's so difficult to block for Hawaii. An ace for Shapani. He's able to go right down the line. I like that serve from Shapani's. If I'm Long Beach State, Sakunoko is my serving target out here. And I'll specify, it's not exactly down the line for Shapani's because he goes right from the middle of the court, and, and that kind of angle is a different one for passers. Many ways to serve from the end line. When you go from the middle, it can create angles in both directions that are difficult to pass. 
Net violation called on Long Beach State. I think that would have been a Hawaii kill anyway. As Sakonoko will go back to serve. Hawaii just responding over and over again in the third set. Louis Sakonoko played with the U22 team, national team in France. Puts that serve into the net. Opportunity for the beach here with Simon Torrey going back to serve. The Craven in the front row now. Three point advantage for the beach. Here's Torwe. That serve into the net. Crunch time coming up here, Matt Brown. Service pressure, staying high, but need to put it in the court for you to score points. Kurt Nuster. That jump spin serve. And now it's Skylar Varga. High off the hands and it works. Varga stretching out to get that set, that tempo. The D-ball from Aiden Knight. Varga finding a way to get that down. And it's a good sign. Varga, a slow start in this match, but really has turned it on. He is now 9 for 20. Triple block and that is in. Long Beach State, I think, is going to challenge that, though. Yeah, and Coach Allen Knight quickly out of his chair to come and challenge that. Interesting play at the net, Matt Brown. You saw Skylar Varga drop his hands there. So sometimes when you have these high ball situations, and you know maybe smaller players like Thim looking to swing high and deep. And that's what you're taught to do. You're almost not really swinging for the court. You're swinging for high hands, looking for a tool. But when you drop the hands and you're swinging deep and no hands to be found, let's see if this ball goes long or not. So there was no touch called anyway, at least I don't think. I know, of course, if it's in, it's just going to be called in no matter what. It didn't seem like the referees were signaling to each other. They saw a touch, so that definitely won't be the case should... Tom Ulibari look towards the net as we've been seeing referees look at pretty much everything but let's see if this is in or out that's the main thing where does it land that is tough to tell there probably not going to see it here but you can see how Varga brought his hands down at the net like what you were saying there Kyle <laughs> I mean Varga could have almost blocked that ball with his head if, if Thim hit that lower it would have hit him in the head, and there's the call on the court, and the ball is in, so point Hawaii. So it stays with the Rainbow Warriors. And a little bit of a timeout here on the floor to check the rotation. And now it's Tred Rosenthal, back to serve. Harlan has to tip it over. Thim trying to work it off the beach block. Varga, high hands. Todd, high hands as well, and it works for Hawaii. Good rally there from both sides. Taking high swings, bettering some of these balls. That set to Nate Harlan early in that match, not or early in that set, not really where he wanted it. He tips it over, gives an opportunity in transition. Kill for Hawaii. Rosenthal with Hawaii just down one here in the third set. McRaven gets dug up. Free ball opportunity for the beach. Varga working it off the single block on the outside in that rotation, and it works for the beach. Love that set from Aiden Knipe in transition. I felt as if he was going to set McRaven. He gets Voss to jump on McRaven. Good approach from him, and then flows it outside to Varga for the swipey. 
Nato Dickinson in the front row now as a blocking sub for the beach. Harlan back to Sir. High hands. I think Harlan had a shot at it, but Hawaii and Keone Thim with the kill. Great touch off the block. Harlan had the time, it seemed. He kind of mishit, miscontact that ball with one arm. Coach always tells you to go with two, Matt Brown. Uh, I think maybe a little too casual there for Nate Harlan. Thim back to serve. Four man pass for Long Beach State set up. Good pass by Skylar Varga. Two hand over from Shapanis. Sakanoko hard off the block. And we're all tied up. Good set from Rosenthal there. Pushing it. Look at this. This is a hard set to make with force all the way across the floor. He's backing up onto his sideline. He gets it all the way to the pin. That is one of the most difficult sets tonight for Tred Rosenthal. And he makes it look easy. Timeout called, Long Beach State. We are all tied at 20 here in the third set. I know it was a sweep last night, but you kind of felt like night two could be this way, and it's turning out like so. I definitely expected Hawaii to play better volleyball tonight and push Long Beach State to the brink. And you see Luis Sakanoko coming in and making a big impact, you know. We haven't talked about Chaz Galloway. He started the match, but he hasn't continued to play. Sakanoko, though, really doing a good job in, re in replacement of Galloway. And we're seeing why these two programs have been so successful over the years. And we can take a look back at the last five national champions. And yes, you can see there's a little break there between 2021 and 2019. I think we all know what happened. But UCLA, taking it last year, but the last four, all Big West members, and they just so happen to be the two teams and the two programs on the court. Greatness in the Big West. Greatness in the Big West, greatness on the floor tonight, and we are all witness, Matt Brown. Keone Thim back to serve, coming out of the timeout. 20-20. In set number three. Serve into the net. Timeout works for Allen Knight. Big time timeout. Big point here. And now it's a race to five or to four, if you will, for Long Beach State. But this is the crunch time here. Limiting our errors on the court is what you're looking for. Who can play most efficient volleyball and still stay aggressive? to close out this third set. Connor Bloom is in to serve for the beach. Off the net and put back onto the beach side. Mm. So close, so close. Here comes Voss back to serve for Hawaii. All tied up at 21 now. Varga dug up by Thim, goes over. Harlan doesn't seem like he was ready for that set. He was not ready for that set, and it's a tough set to make. Nate Harlan is passing that free ball on the 10-foot line, so Aiden Knight's got to identify that Harlan might be out of the play there for him to get back. He totally can do it. He knows how to do it. He is just so late there, not engaged in the match on that one. So Long Beach State with the timeout. Down by one here in this third set. Remember, this is the third set last night that went 30 to 28. And we just seem to be going back and forth here in the third set in tonight's matchup. What do you think Coach Charlie Wade, Coach Allen Knight are talking about here to try and finish strong? You know, this set alone has been a roller coaster, right? Hawaii started off hot, Long Beach State come back, bringing it back, and now Hawaii back in the driver's seat. You know, I, I just want to say that Tread Rosenthal is setting the ball better here in this third set. Aiden Knight maybe has dropped off just a touch 
here and maybe some of the decision making uh, late in this third set. One point lead for the Rainbow Warriors. They just saw their 16 match winning streak get broken after they went one and one against Loyola Chicago. They have beaten Lewis, Ball State, Stanford twice and UC Irvine in a non-conference matchup and the former number one team in the country, Grand Canyon, Long Beach State, right now is 13-0 at home. They are now on a seven match winning streak. They've had wins over UCLA, Pepperdine, George Mason, Lewis, Penn State, of course UC Santa Barbara twice to open up their conference play. All comes to a head here, night two against Hawaii. And Skylar Varga able to get the side out for the beach. Big time set, big time swing from Varga as he works the line again. We saw in the previous kill from Varga down the line. This time it works. 22 all. Varga, an important serve there. Todd blocked and roof. Good discipline at the net. No net violation on Long Beach side. That's a positive. But Hawaii keeps finding the hands of Simon Torrey. Here we see the replay. Good timing. Synchronized blocking move from Shapanis and Torrey. And Shapanis loves it. He didn't touch that ball, but he loves it. <laughs> How big have the middles been for either side, really? But Simon Torrey seems to be making the biggest impact right now. It just seems like his hands are exactly where they need to be all the time. And unfortunately for Hawaii, they keep finding those hands up there. And, you know, when you're going up to swing, you've got to find the shorter player. I don't think you want to find the hands of the six foot ten Torrey, but that's what's happening right here. And credit to Torrey for being in the right spot more often than not. He's fifth in the country in blocking coming into the weekend. I, I don't think that that's going to be the case after this weekend's over six blocks last night. Looking for more tonight. I think it was a little bit of a slow start, at least statistically, for Torwey since he led the nation in blocks last year. But it definitely seems like he's come into his own right now. Already six on the scorecard tonight for Simon Torwey. Picking up right where he left off last night. And it is crunch time, that's for sure, here in this third set. Varga, good serve. Sakanoko, no touch called. And it is set point for, Hawaii, for Long Beach State. I think Hawaii's gonna challenge. No, they're gonna call a timeout. No challenge there from head coach Charlie Wade. A timeout is called as Long Beach State now. Their fans have to stay standing for about a minute and 45 seconds. They are still standing. It has been such a great atmosphere in the Walter Pyramid once again. And it's just great to see it on back-to-back -back nights. Yeah, how lucky are we? And all these fans here, we get Hawaii in the pyramid back-to-back -back nights. Here's a replay. Another good set from Rosenthal all the way across the court. Sakanoko, just a little miscontact there on that ball. And it's a little bit of sporadic swings and serves for Sakanoko, kind of showing some of that youth out here on the court in these big moments. Trust your block defense. I mean, you want to be aggressive up there, but you really can't afford to make uh, errors late in this set. The Beach Faithful out in full force inside the Walter Pyramid. And I, I know Hawaii's got a great amount of seats as well, but this has been just a great back and forth affair that all volleyball fans have been enjoying. I hope you're enjoying this at home as well, wherever you may be here on ESPN+. Plus. I know the fans are enjoying it. I know the student section is enjoying it. And I think the players are enjoying it as well. This is the atmosphere, the environment you live for, you train, you work for, if you're an athlete, for these moments. Over 4,000 
in the building last night, Matt Brown, and it looks as if there could be more tonight. Still set point for Long Beach State. And Skylar Varga back to serve again. Into the net, the timeout works for Hawaii. Varga has been so consistent with his serve. And a good timeout there from Hawaii. Four man pass set up for Alaka'i Todd's serve now as Hawaii looks to tie things up. Still set point for Long Beach State. Torwe! Simon Torwe has come up big here in this third set, giving Long Beach State the advantage. Two sets to one. We'll be back here on ESPN Plus for more Long Beach State and Hawaii Simon Torwe with just Kill number four, he's definitely looking for more. Big West men's volleyball coming your way after this. It is something to see Long Beach State represent the Big West Conference basketball-wise in the national scene this year as we come back to this match as Long Beach State and Hawaii men's volleyball just go right at it. Coach Allen Knight. You think he liked what he saw to finish off that third set? That's a momentum builder going into this next set. When you end on that high, when you were down, you push, you fight back. What I see, Matt Brown, the total team blocks right now, Hawaii with five. Long Beach State with 12 and a half on the board. That's a lot of blocks. We will start set number four with Tred Rosenthal serving. Louis Sakonoko is still in for Hawaii. Dearest McRaven, the starter today for Long Beach State. Nathan Harling coming in off the bench and he's playing all six rotations. It just seems like it's a total team effort on both sides. Coach Knight talked about this last night after the match and how when these bench players come in and make an impact and how that energy gets transferred to the team. And then the following week of practice, it gets so competitive in the gym because that next guy says, why not me? Why not me next? And so what a cool sight to see. And let's not forget Hawaii playing without their two starting outside hitters. That's a totally different team and dynamic out here. And they're battling right now. Hawaii definitely playing for Spiros. Spiros Hakas out for the season. But we hope he recovers well. For Long Beach State, that's a good side out to start set number four. Skylar Varga now 12 for 25 on the night. Getting more sets, becoming more efficient. This is what I see from the beach, limited errors on their swings. Only seven for the match. 19 on the side of Hawaii. Shoot set to Voss, going over and that's a block in roof. Long Beach State's block has just come up big all night long. Just keeps coming, it's the discipline here for Long Beach State. It's hours and hours of reps in the gym. Well, we've seen some net violations, mostly on Long Beach State's side. How hard is it to just keep going back at it and at it again and getting that success? You know, you gotta rely on the practice and the reps that you get in the gym. Good set from Rosenthal. Just and it leads to a Todd kill. Just out of reach there for Mason Briggs. But yeah, back to the blocking. You know, you have to get the mind right to get back in the game and let yourself go, okay, I did hit the net once or twice. Reset, refocus, don't dwell on those past plays. Reset, refocus seems to be a theme for both teams. Both programs as that goes into the net from Keone Thim. Big break of a serve for Long Beach State as Simon Torwe now comes back into the front row. Dearis McRaven back to serve. The Orange Coast College transfer, of course, went to Mwanalua High School in Hawaii. Mwanalua was 12th in the nation ranked when he was playing there as that is a kill for Luis Sakanoko. And Keone Thim doing 
a favor for McRaven as that ball was definitely going out of bounds, but perfect pass, perfect set, and a nice kill off the hands for Sakanoko. Tight set out of system. It does not matter to Sakunoko, and that's a reason why coaching uh, in the modern day prefers that tight set. you got to be aggressive. The chances of your hitter scoring when the ball is tight is greatly increased than when it's at 10 feet off the net. Give them a chance to be creative at the net. Right side back row, Varga finding the floor and the corner. Another big swing from Varga. What I'm seeing right now from the beach, attacking that third blocker coming over. Here we see the replay. Looks like right in between Todd and Nursterer on that swing from Varga as he goes back to the service line. Sakanoko. Good dig, Mason Briggs, the All-American. Pretty much every year as Sakanoko, though, responds going down the line. Creativity from Sakanoko. Hammer into the angle gets dug. This time, he gets a second chance, and he goes down the line. Tried Rosenthal just flowing out there now. All tied at four. Here in set four. Oh, the back set to Shapani's Good dig, Sakanoko. Sneaking it through the block. Did it hit the antenna? It did. Point Hawaii. Bang, bang, play at the net. And Sakanoko on a heater to start this four set, doing everything for Hawaii, everything going his way. And I feel like you could say maybe some doubts on the defensive play for Louis Sakanoko in terms of setting that platform, whether it's passing or defense back row wise. Of course, I know he's in the front row being the off blocker there, but it seems to be that he is delivering it tonight. He is dialed in out there on the court. No questions about it. And it might have taken him a second. You know, that's what happens when you come off the bench, Matt. You take you a second to get into the game, find your rhythm, find your flow. Easier said than done, but Sakanoko has certainly found it here as I believe Coach Knipe has thrown a challenge out. It seemed like on our replay it was pretty certain that that ball was off Long Beach State hitting the antenna. He could be challenging something else here. Uh, I wasn't able to catch what the announcement was that they were challenging here, but Tom Ulibari seems to have made a pretty quick decision. There's a chance that this was just a pseudo timeout for Coach Knight. And yeah, it stays with Hawaii, so maybe just nothing doing, and he got a break. Uh, Tom Ulibari is explaining to Aiden Knight that it did touch the antenna, so I guess that's what they were challenging. Here we see, oh yeah. Yeah. Off the hands of Knipe and then flowing into the antenna. And then it gets ricocheted back. That is not allowed. The minute it hits that antenna, whether it's above the net, below the net, the ball immediately out of bounds. And probably Tom Ulibari telling Aiden that it wasn't you playing it. It was before you were able to play it that it hit the antenna. And probably did not see that in live time. But here comes a Long Beach State serve following a service error from Hawaii. And now look at Ita. I think that's now 18 service errors for Hawaii, 15 for Long Beach State. Good dig by Varga, kept up. Set over. Rosenthal. To Sakunoko. Played up. What a save, Skylar Varga. Free ball opportunity, Rainbow Warriors. Nursterer ending that rally. Nursterer been quiet offensively on the night. That's only his fifth set of the night, Matt Brown. 
but he is ready to go. Good joust at the net. Look at this hustle here from the beach. Varga having to hop overnight to get that ball in. Nurster finishing it off with the gap. Just his second kill of the evening. As Harlan off the block. Recycle. Play goes on as Harlan rolls, shotting it into the block. Free ball opportunity, Hawaii. Saka Noko from the back row. Big time rally here, and Saka Noko is everywhere right now. Rosenthal finding him front row, back row. And now a little bit of break. A uh, shoe tie, a wipe of the floor, just so much effort. I know Aiden Knight went out of his shoe uh, last night. That is correct. There you see a look at our attacks total. 97 for Hawaii to 80 for the beach. Here's this recycle opportunity for the beach, but it goes back over. And now Sakanoko got that kill. To end that rally with the serve. Good pass from Harlan. Opportunity for Hawaii here. Thim, no touch called, and that one is out. So we talked about setting the ball a bit tighter out of system. It's easier said than done, but that just goes to show you when that ball is an extra two to three feet off the net, how much harder it is to get a kill error. There from Finn. Here's Simon Torwey. Keeping that serve in, and it leads to an overpass. Shapani's what a dig by Sakanoko. Thim blocked and roofed. Big time dig. Sakanoko making himself felt all over the court, but it ends with the Long Beach State block. Continuing the blocking prowess here tonight. Here we see the replay. Again, another ball off the net for Thim, and it's hard to do, Matt. The, the, the difficulty increases greatly to score on those balls. When you were hitting against the three-man block 10 feet off the net, what were you thinking back when you were playing? I mean, my, my goal was to just work that line blocker, work the setter, work the opposite down the line best I could. Keep it away from the middle as Torwey Puts it into the net. One point lead now as Curtin Nurster goes back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. Born in Germany, grew up and raised in Indianapolis. Now a good jump serve. Shapanis. Little off center in the back row, and that was by design, and it works perfectly. Good movement. It starts with a great pass from Mason Briggs. And a good bick from Shapanis. Ada Knight with the serve for the beach. Outside, Thim off the block. Net violation called on the beach. Doesn't matter. Hawaii with the side out. And this time, Thim scoring in system with that set from Rosenthal. Better opportunity for Thim. I like that Rosenthal goes back to him. That's just building trust in your pin hitters. Good serve from Tred Rosenthal. Get up by Leo Choi. That goes wide and Long Beach State with the side out. So close, Thim working the edges and being undersized, you have to be creative out there. And so that's why we're seeing maybe a few more errors from Thim as he works to find ways to score. Oh, the change up from Harlan. Good pass though from Choi. Shapanis! The block defense, Long Beach State, unrelenting right now. Thim giving it all he can on these swings here. 
And this one just comes back up. Shapana says, thank you very much. Gosh, how high level volleyball are we watching here tonight? How about that save from Choi on that yeah. serve? The crowd ooing and eyeing on that. It could have been easily an ace, but it ends up being a perfect pass off the flipper from Choi. As Harlan back to serve again. Block and a roof. McRaven and Varga combining. And just when Long Beach State needs something to turn the tide, it's their blocking. Here we see the synchronization of the block and then that press with the right hand from McRaven, and that feels good for McRaven. Oh, Voss able to wipe it off the beach block. Net violation technically, but just give that point to Guilherme Voss. So smart, Guilherme Voss. What is that man's GPA? Because he is <laughs> smart out here on the court. He must be good in the classroom. Here's Keone Thim back to serve again. That into the net. And Sixth service error on the night from Thim. Thim looking a little fatigued out there. You know, the other thing with being undersized, it takes a lot of effort to jump every single ball. He is max jumping on every swing, so that takes it out of you in a four-setter. Oh, hard off the block, Sakunoko. Harlan dug up. Sakunoko again. Triple block, and that falls. Good change up there from Sakunoko. Smile on his face after that kill. Good out of system set. There we see the out of system set near the net from Thim. Good work from Hawaii. Kevin calling back in to serve for the Rainbow Warriors as a little pause to wipe the floor. Long Beach State up by one. Here in the fourth set, they're looking to close things out here against the number one team in the country. Calling, the Lewis transfer, who has worked his way back from a 2023 injury and has done well off the bench for Hawaii. I think that was off the top of the head of Kurt Nursterer. Torwi again, good diving save by Colin. Sakanoko works it down. Good coverage from Hawaii and a big dig from McCauley. Excuse me, calling. Coming in there with the serve and the big dig. There's the dig and just oh, again, Sakanoko over the top. Serve into the net there. Break for Long Beach State. As now it's Skylar Varga back to serve for the beach. They still have that one point advantage here in the fourth set. Varga back to serve, leading Long Beach State with 13 kills on the evening, hitting 407. Block back, recycle. Block, no recycling there, the roof. From Torwi. Oh, and that's a scary sight to see a fired up Simon Torwi. And getting rewarded for his hard work at the net middle blockers, maybe the hardest position out there on the court. And getting those blocks feels good. Keeps the fuel in the tank for Torwi. Varga missing on that serve. Long Beach State is able to get Good natural point there. Shift the balance just a little bit. Alakai Todd back to serve now for the Rainbow Warriors. Mason Briggs with the jump set. And Japan is finding the corner for Long Beach State. Brilliant from Shapanis. 
That set from Mason Briggs with speed, and Shapani's doing what he does best, finding the court. And that is going to bring us up to a timeout here on the court. We'll be back with more action here in the pit, the pyramid. My mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. They brought terror to the land. The beach up 15 13 as they host Hawaii here on night two of a back to back in the Walter Pyramid. So, welcome you back to Southern California here on ESPN. Plus. Matt Brown, Kyle Friend, just enjoying some top level men's volleyball in NCAA as Satiri Shapanis goes back to serve for the beach coming out of this timeout. That jump float serve, giving Sakunoko some trouble. I don't think that ball went over the net. Either way, Long Beach State point. Sakunoko has been targeted a lot with the float serves here, and he's really doing a good job fighting these off. That time, creating a little bit of trouble on his side, and he hits that one into the net for the unforced error. Hawaii has not hit over 200 in any set so far tonight. As Sakunoko now able to work it off the beach block that time. I foresee some blocking reps for Long Beach State next week with some swiping off the hands of those pin blockers. Hawaii doing a really good job using and abusing the block of the beach. Sakunoko to serve. Into the net there. As Hawaii's serve has struggled a little bit. 21 service errors and a new entry into this match for Long Beach State. The eighth match appearance on the year for Dane Hillis, 6'3 redshirt sophomore from San Clemente. What a match to be inserted into in 2024 for Hillis as he misses on that serve. Serving subs, looking to make an impact. We've seen many different players come in and provide a spark. Dane Hillis didn't have it on that one. Kai Taylor coming back in for the Rainbow Warriors. Of course, for Hawaii fans, the Taylor name, pretty Big there as his cousin is Nikki Taylor, one of the great pin hitters for the Rainbow Wahine. Oh, what a rally just to keep it alive, but it ends in a beach point. <laughs> Using the chest to get the dig there. The fans loving that one, but unfortunately, another unforced error from Keone Thim, who's got 10 on the night. Long Beach State is up by three here in the fourth set. Trying to close it out. Them working it in there. No error on that swing for Thim, but errors the real Achilles heel of this Hawaii team tonight. Matt Brown, 27 errors on the night. And of course, that includes the blocks because Long Beach State has 17, so it's tough. Shapanis, what a dig Choi. And the swing from Thim. What a scoop from Choi, absorbing all of that. Just kind of sliding into the pocket there. No big deal from Choi on that dig. Long Beach State. Having to call a timeout. They're still up one here in this fourth set. But boy, it has just been back and forth all night long. But for Long Beach State, it just seems like they have so many statistical advantages. What do you think has kind of been maybe the weakness for them and the reason why Hawaii's been kept in it? Man, it's hard to say because our errors are so little yeah. on the attacking side. Service errors, you know, not our best serving match here with 18. We're under... 21 from Hawaii, 
Man, it's it's hard to say. I, you know, Hawaii is covering well, even though they're getting blocked a lot, and they're kind of scooping some tough balls and giving themselves opportunities in transition on maybe a few more digs on the side of Hawaii. There it is, Matt. 35 digs for Hawaii to just 23 from Long Beach State, so that's quite the discrepancy. And what that means is more opportunities for Hawaii to swing and score. It's interesting to see it from a total statistical standpoint where the digs are the only advantage for a team that has been kind of playing from behind, but right there. Of course, they're coming out of this timeout down by one. For Long Beach State, they're just probably looking for this side out here with a four-man passing formation. And it just highlights how important defense is for all your athletes at home. Go to the gym, work on defense, because it can keep you in the game. Here's Rosenthal with the serve. Tough pass, and the swing from them. We are all tied. What a swing from them here. Mm. <laughs> Caught Nipe. Of course, he's a back row player, so he's going to go up and block it. Good dig, Sakunoko. Good dig, Shapanis. Harlan off the block. Voss, good dig, Mason Briggs. Kept alive. Thim pushing it across. Shapanis is there. Varga, left side, popped up. Todd. Popped up by Knipe. Here comes Varga again. What a rally here. Thim! Rally of the night, Matt Brown. We are playing some volleyball out here. Wow, the fans, you are welcome because you're getting a show tonight. Unbelievable. 19-18. Hawaii, by the way, is trying to extend this match so we can get five sets. And you know the fans are looking for more volleyball here. <laughs> they made the trek out here to Long Beach State. Or if you're at home, you're staying up late watching two of the best teams duel it out here in the pyramid. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Long Beach State here going into this timeout called by Alan Knipe. What is the response in serve receive here? Of course, the timeout may be icing the server a bit, but who do you think they're looking at? Definitely ice the server a little bit, slow things down. Mm. I don't think Coach Knipe is going to tell them too much because I think they're playing really good volleyball right now. These last couple of rallies, Shapani's in a better spot defensively on that dig there, sliding over. Good out of system ball setting, good high swings. Trust the practice, trust your reps. Maybe perfect pass opportunity. Look for the bit from Shapani's if it's a good pass. That's a good point, and I know we mentioned it earlier, but Long Beach State is just approaching this two match series of just trusting their, their practice all week long that they usually do, all season long. Of course, they will always say the right things. This is just another match in the regular season, but it just seems like so much more. And we are only in March. We've got a lot of men's volleyball coming your way. We've got a lot of Big West Conference action coming your way. And especially we'll have it here on ESPN Plus. Big West men's volleyball has been so exciting here in 2024 as Tred Rosenthal goes back to serve once again for the Rainbow Warriors. Here comes Skylar Varga, off speed, popped over. McRaven blocked back. Harlan dug up, net violation on Hawaii. Big time save there on the beach side. Sakanoko with another big dig. Unfortunate net violation from Thib on UH, and that ties us up, 19 apiece. You can just feel it is tense in here, Matt. 
Nathan Harlan. Good serve, better pass. Todd, was there a touch? There was. Yeah, no complaints there from Varga. Todd confident after that swing is high and deep. And back to serve for Hawaii. Keone Thim. A little bit off today, serving wise in terms of keeping it in. But you know he always has that green light. As he misses once again there. A big break that Long Beach State looking to take advantage of as we're all tied up at 20. Dearest McRaven got the start today. Has been playing pretty well. Todd dug up by Knipe. Shapani's the tip. Todd, two hand over, good play by McRaven in the back row. Shapani's off speed. Over. Varga dug up. Sakanoko off the block. Here comes Harlan, dug up by Choi. Sakanoko, dug up by Harlan. Two hand over Varga. Blocked back, opportunity for the beach. Shapanis, dug up by Thim. Put down Alaka'i Todd. Unreal. I'm at a loss for words, Matt Brown. I'm trying to catch my breath watching that rally. So many amazing plays at back to back to back to back. This one, Shapani's maybe just getting stuck there on that block and deciding last minute to just not go. Frustrated out there right now. I think it's been a while since I've seen so many players want to just stay on the floor after a rally to catch their own breath. This has just been an amazing match. It might be extended as Hawaii is up by one, looking to take it to five. Varga. Net violation called on Hawaii. I think that's a Varga kill anyway. Varga with a missile. And Thim putting that one out of bounds either way, a net violation. And now Long Beach State, Skylar Varga going back to serve as Nato Dickinson coming in as a blocking sub. So we'll probably see Nathan Harlan, should it come to it, take the second touch on Long Beach State's side as Skylar Varga goes back to serve. Everybody in the pyramid. Tense moments. Oh, what a pound down Sakanoko. One of the wildest swings you will see here in the mid. Wow, Luis Sakanoko. <laughs> I think we're going to see that one again later tomorrow, maybe on a Sports Center top 10. I hope so. One point lead for Hawaii again. Over the net. It's a front row setter. Shapani's working it through. Good dig, Skylar Varga. Good swing, Sotiri Shapanis. And somehow Shapanis putting that through the block. He's inside the court. He jumps out towards the sideline to reach this swing and sneaks it through. But volleyball we're seeing tonight here in the mid. The jump float serve from Shapanis. Outside, Sakanoko again. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Louis Sakanoko putting on an offensive clinic out here. 
17 kills, a career night for Luis Sakonoko. Just saying it in general, this is a breakout match it seems. But he misses on that serve. And here come the beach. And it's so important to dial in, harness that energy when you're back at the service line. He's got so much adrenaline pumping through his veins. Here comes Simon Torwe, a jump float serve from Torwe. Alaka Itad misses there. On an unreal night of men's volleyball, we've got a timeout to prepare for match point Long Beach State. And that's a big time decision. High IQ play from Simon Torrey. I don't know if that information came from the bench or was Torrey's decision to go to the float serve. Torrey hasn't been as consistent with his serve tonight. That time he goes for the float, he gets rewarded, right? Let me say, trust your block defense. The only way to score points with your blocking defense is to give them a chance. You have to put the ball in play, and guess what? They get rewarded. And this is something that a, a different jump float server from Long Beach State, and Aiden Knipe, has said. The reason why he float serves is because he knows his particular rotation is one to just trust that block. And right now, Torui is doing so on his rotation here. And that is different on every team. Depending on the rotation you're in, depending on who is your staff, who's your servers, who's your big servers, you adapt, you mold to create the best opportunity to score a point in that rotation. That is called team volleyball at its finest. Long Beach State, the number two team in the country looking to knock off number one on back-to-back -back nights. As they come out of this time up, up 24, 23 match point inside the Walter Pyramid. It doesn't matter what team you're cheering for here inside the Pyramid. Every single person on their feet. Torwe, that float serve again. Over on two, good pick of Skylar Varga. Chapanis dug up. Here comes them. Popped up. Good save. Simon Torwe, the middle in the back row. Outside them again. We play on. A lot of heart out here for these Rainbow Warriors. They're not going down without a fight. And Thim getting a kill when they needed it most. Got to win by two. Hawaii looking to extend this to a fifth set. Long Beach State looking to get an advantage and get to match point again. Harlan blocked and roofed. And Trent Rosenthal stepping up to the moment. The young fella with a big block here. And looks like Coach Knight is going to challenge to see if there's a net violation here, Matt Brown. Oh, what a big call and overturn that would be. In a way, there's a instant thought, at least in my mind, that this is a pseudo timeout as well for Coach Allen Knight as Tom Ulibari goes back to the challenge review system. This would be that huge point swing as Hawaii is at set point at the moment. Should this be overturned, it would be match point for Long Beach State. And if you're a beach fan, that's not a good sign of how quickly he has left that monitor. And Ulibari points the way of Hawaii. Was not enough evidence to overturn. And yeah, oh, I think there was enough evidence to just let it stand and confirm. And it definitely was a pseudo timeout for Long Beach State. 
You get challenges if we go to a fifth set anyway. Might as well use it. Nurse set point for Hawaii. Farga. No touch called. Let's go to five. <laughs> this is what the people came to see. Matt Brown as Varga sails that one long, looking for some hands, doesn't find any. Boy, how fun is this? Why not go to the fifth set? A race to 15. As we will come back here on ESPN Plus right after this. So everybody gets to catch their breath here for the start of set number five. And even yours truly here on the announce desk, Matt Brown here with Kyle Friend. I think we need to catch our breaths here after that crazy set number four. Hawaii taking it 26-24 and we will go to a fifth set. The heart rate definitely elevated here. For us on the sideline, it's definitely elevated for the athletes on the floor. And we got a little taste of what we saw in the third set of last night's match. Tonight, we see this fourth set thriller from UH and Long Beach here. The Beach picking up the digs, trimming that gap. They have 35 on the board as UH, 47 on the board here. But again, the block, 16 to 5 for Hawaii. But Tread Rosenthal with a big block to end that fourth set. Let's see what they can do coming in. Welcome back. Here we are at the sideline. Kyle Friend alongside Matt Brown. Man, what a game. I mean, it's just a little bit of excitement, a little bit of fight, a little bit of maybe just exasperation on the floor. I think we're seeing from both sides, and I think like I said before, I've never seen, or maybe it's been a long time since I've seen the last time that players are just staying on the floor after rallies because they're so exhausted. What does it take to push through in set number five? You know, the other thing, back-to-back -back games. So yeah. not only is it a set five tonight, it's almost set eight following up the three back the, the match last night. And players have been diving all over this floor, cleaning this Bruce Double D McRae floor out here for the beach, left and right, and the rallies. It's just what is causing the a bit more fatigue, I think, from these athletes is the amount of digs. Choi lighting it up on the dig category. Also, Mason Briggs, a ton of digs. Choi's got nine. Really impressive. Tread Rosenthal with 12 digs as well. Luis Sakanako, nine digs. So a lot of digs on the side of Hawaii, keeping them in this match. Hawaii only hitting 252. Long Beach State's defense has been able to hold their offense once again. Remember, it was an offense that was hitting basically 400 coming into the weekend. And Long Beach State now hitting 284. Hawaii was able to hold them to just 162 hitting in set number four alone. And you know what? It's only two errors in that set from the beach, but it's 37 attempts. All those digs, wow. Matt Brown, from Hawaii. Tread Rosenthal gets us underway in this race to 15. Dearis McRaven saying it's been a while since we've said his name. His fourth kill. Hasn't had too many sets in this match, but Aiden Knight starting him off with a quick right out of the middle and McRaven punishing that ball. McRaven to serve. Them working it through the block of the beach. Oh, the set from McRaven. Now Choi with the second dairy set for Sakunoko. Harlan setting up Shapanis off the block and a winner for the beach. Good patience from the beach. And how about those hands from McRaven? We haven't seen too many sets from him. He gets a chance to show us his hands on that set. And I like McRaven's float serve. 
We haven't talked about it tonight, Matt, but that, that serve's got some pace, some hard drive. It's not an easy ball to pass. Long Beach State up by two, just starting the fifth set as that serve goes long. A little bit of a break to wipe the floor, kind of ice the server there as Kilney Thim goes back to serve for Hawaii. Into the net again from Thim. That is maybe the one thing from Keone Thim that we've seen throughout the weekend that has been rough, that service error rate on night two. That's eight service errors for Thim, uncharacteristic. Sakunoku, hard and high off the triple block. Ouch, Matt Brown, off the <laughs> hands, right? That's so much heat from Sakunoku. <laughs> Torrey nodding in approval of that swing. Here, let's take another look at this swing. Great pass from Choi Rosenthal getting it all the way out there and just right off the right hand of Torwey. One point lead for the beach still here in set four. Tough play to receive that serve. Setters out for Hawaii as Sakunoko works it off the triple block. Shapanis, recycle time for the beach. Shapanis again, blocked and roofed. Sakunoko doing his responsibility as that third blocker coming over, closing to Nursterer on the block. There's that first block, another chance here for the beach. Here's Sakunoko. Oh, in the left hand. Right side, it is Varga finding hands, getting the big side out for the beach. It's a bummer. Keone Thim was there, but it's a slight misdirection off the hands of the block of Hawaii that causes the lack of dig on Hawaii's side. Long Beach stayed up 4-3. The man they call Sotos back to serve. That hybrid serve coming out like a spin. Oh, the back set to Varga. The good dig from Thim. Over the net, played up by the beach. Here comes Harlan. Got to recycle. Chapat is over on two. Mason Briggs holding his breath on that one. Didn't feel Chapat coming in to swing. We've talked about that on the UH side. We saw that play earlier where that free ball opportunity will get put up in the middle of the court for the outside hitter to make that decision. Glad nobody got hurt there on that swing from Shapanis. Saw <laughs> that wry smile from Briggs. But they know they trust in Sotos to do those type of moves. And they trust in Tarwi to deliver in the middle. And Shapanis now finding that rhythm from the end line, creating chaos on Hawaii's side. Free ball opportunity for the beach and the thunder coming from Torwi. Long Beach State able to take a three-point advantage going into this timeout as we are here in the middle of this fifth set. They're hitting 400 at the moment in this set alone. Hawaii just hitting 200 in this fifth and final set. Here's the last point. Look at that serve, the movement, the right to left from Shapanis, and then right over the top there, as you see from Nathan Harlan, given the signal over the top for Torrey as he towers over his teammates there in that huddle. Three-point lead for the beach as Long Beach State tries to take this big 
five-set match over Hawaii and get another win in conference play. Stay undefeated in conference play. Stay undefeated at home. And it seems like they're trying to use the crowd to gain that extra energy. When you have the home crowd on your side here, the benefit of being here in the pyramid, getting that little boost of energy from the crowd. And I think Hawaii could use a boost right now. It's been a long match for both of these teams. Who can grind it out at the end of the match? That is what is most important. And how about this? Looking like Chaz Galloway going to come back into the match. Galloway leaving the match in the second set, or really at the end of the first set. In between those two, and now back on the floor has been dealing with the injury we saw in night one. Providing that pass in Sakanoko from the left side, pounding it down. Just a whip of an arm there from Sakanoko. It's hard to tell where he's going to swing. I'm sure even harder as a blocker here. A little bit of space between that block for Tori and Knight. He's all a cut you time. Good serve, and an ace. Good hustle from Aiden Knight, trying to bring that ball back. The off-speed serve from Todd. That one's gonna go down. And you can see on your screen, Chaz Galloway kind of taking some hops, seeing that there's gonna be a little bit of break on the floor for someone having to deal with some soreness or, or maybe an injury. Can that rest kind of hurt? They got to warm themselves up again. Definitely. That ankle has been sitting for about three or four sets, and the uh, fluid has been sitting in there as well. So it's going to take him a second to get that thing warmed up. Well, here comes Todd back to serve again. Good pass by Shapanes. Varga gets dug up by Rosenthal. Sakanoko. That is long. No touch called. I think Hawaii is going to challenge. And they're going to challenge to see whether there was a touch on the beach block. Interesting, because half the Hawaii players didn't see a touch, it seemed like. Even Sakanoko wasn't really requesting the challenge from his coaching staff. But you saw the hand go up from Rosenthal and, and Todd there. No coach Charlie Wade is looking on, trying to get a big overturn from Tom Ulibari. And we have a look on our end here. This is probably going to be tough. I don't know if I see anything on that angle. Let's see here. Rotation. Finger movement. Can we see anything here? Mm. It looks as if possibly off the right hand of Simon Torrey there, Matt Brown, as Tom Libari there taking a look as well. That last angle just looks a little different, like some movement off the hand. Of it, Simon Torrey. Is it enough? Yes, that's the question. For Tom Ulibari to overturn, <laughs> and I hate to say, a massive call coming. Of course, it's in the fifth set. Every call will be big. Every point is big. And here comes the decision. It stays with Long Beach State. He does say inconclusive. That's a break for Long Beach State. And they hold on to this two-point lead. Here comes Torwe. Is it a spin or a float? It's a float. Right side, Todd. Good scramble play for Long Beach State. The block 
from Nishtra and Sakunoko. Hawaii working at the net laterally here. So important to get back to the net, get back to base, as we like to say. Here's a replay. Big time dig there from Knight. McRaven keeping that one alive. But here, another opportunity for the beach. It's this block that ends. And so, got to stay involved as you see Nursterer and Sakunoko securing the block. Nursterer fired up. Louis Sakunoko back to serve for the Rainbow Warriors. And that one is into the net. We will switch sides here. Two-point lead for Long Beach State here in set number five. Something's got to give here on night two. We'll be back here on ESPN Plus from our Big West men's volleyball right after this. Here on ESPN Plus, Matt Brown, Kyle Friend, just missed a Chaz Galloway swing from the left side, able to get the point for Hawaii. And now it is a one point fifth set. Kevin Calling is in to serve. Oh, we're on two, Tread Rosenthal. We're all tied up. The dunk goes down for Rosenthal. I haven't seen a kill from him in a couple sets this time he's waiting to throw that one down waiting till the end of this fifth set here and he loves it and Lee Todd giving him some love as well timeout called Long Beach State it is that tense fifth set and it still seems like the players have that energy it still seems like they have that drive and it still seems like they have that fight that we saw not only in night one, but all night here tonight. These teams want to walk out here with the victory on that second night. It's up for grabs right now. It's a seven point match. Everything that happened before this point doesn't matter. Eight, eight right now. It's a game. It's a race to seven. Anyone's game here tonight, Matt Brown, as the fans on their feet, loving every moment here in the pyramid. Eight, eight. As we come out of this timeout, and Kevin Calling, the Lewis transfer, second team All-American back in 2022, and a three-time All-Miva selection goes back to serve for Hawaii. Harlan on the right side in that rotation and a big side out for Long Beach State. Big time pass from Skylar Varga. The opposite's been passing a bunch tonight. Luxury for Long Beach State to have such a dynamic opposite who's able to pass so well, Nate Harlan but maybe his biggest kill of the night. Harlan to serve, up by one. Off the block, by the way, Daniil Hershtinovich in to block for Long Beach State. And that was a good kill for Hawaii. Good recognition from Tred Rosenthal to shoot that ball out to the pin, attack that blocking sub who had just come in. Shabani's back in now, as they will look to pass a Rosenthal serve that just did not make it over the net. Unfortunate there for Rosenthal, but he is playing an exquisite match of volleyball tonight, really rising to the occasion. I'm sure he's got some friends and family here in town, the Miracosta graduate. Guilherme Voss. Big kill for him, though that's just his fifth on the night. 
And Voss hasn't seen too many sets here. Just his 13th set of the night, which makes him that much more deadly here late in the fifth. Simon Torwey responding for Long Beach State. The cutback swing from Torwey, and he shows the fans, you know, what else? What else you got? Nato Dickinson is now in the front row for the beach as a blocking sub. Aiden Knight out. That means Nathan Harlan will probably take the second ball. Should it go to that for the beach? It won't! It's a block and a roof. Simon Tarley. A kill, follows it up with a big time block. Torwey, discipline at the net, staying patient, making that move outside of his body. What a block from Simon Torwey. Here's the replay. I like the big set though. Jazz Galloway looking for the wrist away. Torwey's all over it, no one else up, but Torwey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Simon Torwey. It just seems scary or not that it's because of the size, but it, it kind of is. It's 6'10", screaming like that. And coming off of another dominant stay at the net, Simon Torwey tonight defensively with eight blocks, two of them solo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable blocking here from Long Beach State. Torrey with eight, McRaven with eight. It's an unbelievable amount of box. It's just some of the highest level volleyball you're gonna see tonight uh, in the nation, right? This is unbelievable stuff. 12-10, Long Beach State, few points away, looking to close this second night out. And it just seems like we've been able to go back and forth no matter who you think has the momentum. There's always that looming possibility that it can get snatched back. Skylar Varga to serve. Voss. Big kill and a side out for Hawaii. Big time pass there from Choi and Voss. Staying active, staying involved here late in the match. You might not get set a ton throughout this match, but you have to approach hard. You have to get ready to set, because when that ball comes your way, you've got to find a kill. Boss does just that. Aiden Knipe substituting back in as a front row setter for the beach. Kai Taylor coming back in as a server for Hawaii. Good pass from Harlan. Blocked back, Torwey. Here comes Sakanoko. Triple block and it's down and in. <laughs> he just doesn't stop, Matt Brown. Torwey's everywhere right now. Sakanoko finding the hands of the three-man block. Long Beach State continuing to rely on what they do so well, blocking the ball. Hawaii is challenging that last point. Challenging if Long Beach State touched the net. And as we've talked about, Coach Knight using some challenges to possibly slow the game down, take a second, talk to his team. And also maybe, maybe there's that 5% chance that they are going to get this one, right? The net violation is the challenge call thrown out here from Hawaii. Hard to tell quickly here. Tom Ulibari already off the screen, which tells me it's probably not going to be successful. And it does stay with Long Beach State. We'll have our own look at it here on ESPN+. Plus. And yeah, that is clean. It may have even hit the head of Simon Torrey. That's how high up he gets. That is a large wall of hands at the net for the beach. 
13-11 here in the fifth set. Remember, it's a race to 15. Nurserer blocked and roofed. Solo again, Simon Torley. Match point. When you're hot, you're hot. Simon Torrey, as hot as it gets right now. What a night of volleyball. And it comes down to this. Sakonoko. My goodness, the missile to keep it going. So much heat on that swing from Sakonoko. And Torwi probably frustrated that he didn't get one more block here on the night. Still match point for Long Beach State. Ala Kaitai with the serve. Varga! No touch. Out of bounds. Challenge coming for Long Beach State. Coach Knight quick to get up. They are hard to tell. That ball moving so fast off the hands of Varga. Seems to be the later we get, the tighter it gets. The more challenges <laughs> that come out uh, from both coaches here. Just looking for anything to turn the tide in their favor. Let's see if we have it on our angles here. The net cam. This seems more like a pseudo timeout from Alan Knight. Here's a better angle. Varga flying. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's enough there or even if Sakanogo touched that ball. But you can see that Alan Knipe is trying to really talk to individuals that will be on the court for this next point. Tom Ulibari is taking a little while longer. We'll see here. Stays with Hawaii. Good call there from Ulibari. Still match point for Long Beach State. And it's Alaka Itad once again to serve. Four man passing formation for Long Beach State. Shifting it to three. Off the top of the block, Harlan. Good scramble play for Hawaii. Free ball opportunity, Beach. Shapanis, touch, and what a match. Unreal volleyball here at the Walter Pyramid, ending with a touch off that big from Shapanis. Wow, what did we just witness? And, and you know, there is just so much respect on either side as Long Beach State takes this five set thriller. 25 20-25, 25-23. 24, 26, and 15, 13. For Kyle Friend and our great ESPN Plus crew, I'm Matt Brown saying so long from Long Beach. We'll be back to, well, next time in a couple of weeks as Long Beach State continues Big West play. All games airing on the ESPN Networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. The next match up will be for Long Beach State against UC San Diego. That's on March 29th. Until then, good night, everybody.